hurts. It fucking hurts, man, in life. You know, you, you just... My friends... Let me warn you about your friends. Let me warn you about your neighbors. Let me warn you about your family. Let me warn you about you, about yourself. I don't know who's going to listen to this message, but, you know, I, I used to be a fucked up gambler. Really bad. Really, really fucking bad. You know, I've, I've turned away and I'm on a new journey in life. But I'm realizing, I'm realizing that, you know, the people that I thought were my friends, people that I really thought were my friends, man, fucking real friends, man, you know, all they fucking, all people do is fucking turn around and fucking, it's just the world we live in, right? And, and let me tell you something, we think we don't have choices, you got fucking choices, man. Sometimes we don't sometimes we don't realize what's happening in our lives. For 32 years I fucking gambled. I don't gamble anymore. I'm fucking completely free out of that prison. I I had a really really tough I I had a really difficult childhood. It was a very very difficult childhood. I was fucking wounded. I was wounded by my own parents as a child. I didn't know this. I didn't know this. I've come a fucking long fucking ways, man, to be where I am today. And it feels like I'm kind of starting all over again. All over again. You'll be tested. You'll be tested to go back to your fucking garbage you'll be tested to go back there to the fucking shit you came out of you'll be tested my friend whoever you are you'll be tested and if you're not fucking prepared for the fucking shit that you're gonna have to go through if you you know life might be good for you right now life might be good as a matter of fact you might still be gambling you might still be gambling like I was back there over 32 years That fucking gambling is going to bite you in the fucking ass so fucking hard, my friend. You you know what? And you better hope that you have some really good people. You better hope that you have a fucking good community, a good support. You better hope you have something because if you don't, you, you are going to just continue to fall. You're going to continue to fall and people will take advantage of you. People will take advantage of you. You'll become so vulnerable that you won't even know your standards anymore. You won't even know what your standards are. You won't even have any real values. You'll be so shaken up, man, that you'll start believing the other fucking shit that people try to put on you, man. Oh, you're fucking this. You're that. You're a fucking gambler. You're this. You're whatever. The labels that fucking people try to put on you, man. It's a really, really, uh, oh man, I, I tell you, yeah, am I emotional? Yeah, I am emotional. I probably should pull over here for a little bit. I'm going to visit my dad, but I'm just telling you people, you know, it's time that somebody, let, let me tell you something. I, I used to be, I used to be a gambler. Like I said, I used to be a gambler. I used to be a gambler. And I don't gamble anymore. I don't run with that crowd of people. I don't associate with that kind of fucking thinking. I don't talk that verbiage. Yeah, I share my story and I talk about gambling and I talk about casinos and I talk about how to stay away from these things and how to not let these things destroy your life. That I do talk about. But nobody... 
Nobody can sit there and point a finger at me and call and put a put a fucking label on me and nobody can put a fucking label on you either. Don't you ever don't you ever let somebody fucking put a label on you, man. I'm going to pull over here for just a minute. This is a really nice area. I'm about close to where my dad is anyways, and it looks like I might have some live feed here. I see we got a few people that have joined in. I don't know where you've joined in from, but let me tell you something, man. I'm going through some of the most fucking difficult fucking experiences of my fucking life, man, right now. And how easy it would be to fucking go back to the casino lifestyle. How easy, man, for me to fucking just hide, go right back to the fucking shit that I came out of. You know what? Some of you, there might be one or two of you, you're fucking going through a hard time yourself. Somebody's watching here. I'm glad that you're watching. I'm glad that you're watching. You might be going through some of the most fucking difficult shit in your life. Maybe you don't understand what you're going through. I tell you what, I didn't understand what I was... I didn't understand what I've been fucking going through for the last several years. I didn't understand. You see, I've been fucking gambling so much it blinded me. It blinded me to fucking a lot of things around me. But now, over the last two years, over the last three years, you know, what? what's my fucking lifestyle, man? My, you know what my lifestyle is? My lifestyle is fucking... You know what? fucking santos get as fucking strong as you can man get as fucking strong as you can in your spirit because you don't know what you're gonna fucking face now you have no fucking clue of what's ahead man fucking people will turn on you family family will turn on you family will fucking turn on you at the drop of a dime man because you're no longer fucking giving in to the fucking shit you're no longer now you've got some values in your life. You've got some fucking, you're standing up for some values in your life. People don't like it. I'm going to lose people here on Facebook. I'm going to lose people on YouTube. You know what? I don't give.